This video is going to show how to wind round bobbins on a model 15s. Uh, this is a 1530. It's a treadle machine. Uh, there's other versions, 1586, 87, 88, 89, and 91s. With their bobbin winders, they have a thread guide and a pin located down here on the machine. Um, but it's all basically the same how it winds up. So first you take your your bobbin and look at how this is flat on the sides for class 15s. The class 66 bobbins are a little rounded on both sides. They're not interchangeable. So you want to make sure you have the right bobbins. These kind of just look like a, an a H when you look at them. So basically there's a groove on here which when it goes on to the bobbin winder there's a little notch that'll hit it. One thing you can do when you're threading it, some people or the manual says to run the thread through that little hole. Um, I just wrap it around a couple times, makes it a little easier. But you make sure your bobbin is in place. You've got one guide up here to go through. And this version has a guide here and up here. And this is on the 1530s. Like I said, if you've got any of the 1580s or 91s, they have a pin and a thread guide like this. So basically the guide sits here and your spool pin will sit down here. On the 1530s, you rest it up here. Um, and basically you just come over this first guide. Now if you had it on a pin, it would just, it, your thread would go your spool would sit on the pin and then your thread would come under this and go up to your winder. Uh, the winder on the 80s and 90s versions does not have this. It does have a top guide. Uh, may or may not have an arm uh, but it'll load through. So next we take <coughs> excuse me um, what I like to do with the bobbin is just wrap it a couple times it's a lot quicker or you can tie like a just a soft knot in it um, rather than trying to fish it through that little hole so our thread is going to come around from the bottom up and then over the southern notch I'll be doing a little bit backwards because I've already got the thread on the bobbin. So I come down and then on this loop. Now you want to release your balance wheel. There's a, a knob on the end. Turn the top towards you to so hold your wheel. And just turn that to release it. Pressing it down engages it in place. And I'm using a hand crank on this. Let's get this a little tighter. I gotta get my knot a little tighter. I'll wrap it a couple more times. And there we go. And basically you just treadle away or crank. I'll get this loaded up and I'll show you how to uh, load the bobbins or the bobbin case okay now you can see how the thread comes off the threads coming over the bobbin this way inside your bobbin case let me get ones where the, the newer versions are a little different. I should add. This is an antique version and this is a vintage version. You can see how 
these point opposite directions. They're not interchangeable uh, with the machines. These are 1530s only. And I believe Necky bobbin cases are the same. And this is for the vintage version. So inside, there's a little groove which runs back this way under. You want your thread so you're coming up over the bobbin this way inserted like this so you're going opposite direction of how it was threaded. So you, you pop it in and then there's a little tab you just work it under and there you go. And you want to be able to dangle it. It shouldn't be a little, it shouldn't be loose. This was a little tight. Um, and there we go, and that's how you set it up. Um, let me just show you real quick. This is the vintage version bobbin case, and you can see that groove goes opposite, opposite direction. And again, the same thing, you're taking your thread this time, it goes over this way on the bobbin, and then you're back through and under, just like the other ones. And these, this is the vintage version, this is for the 1580s, 1590s, <clears throat> and then basically you just slide your cover plate, you pop your bobbin in there. So you can't really see. And it locks into place. And that's how you wind the bobbins.